Hi, this is Justin at wingsound.com. I'm gonna show you Pro Tools 8 automation, all your basics to panning, muting, fading out, and even automating your effects. Okay, so the automation shows up in two places. One over here, which will be over the waveform, or you can hit this little arrow over here and it'll show up down there. And you can hit the plus sign to add more parameters to that if you wanna visually see everything that you're doing. <clears throat> So one way to do the automation is you can take the pencil tool and if you click on it, you could choose how you want to draw your lines. I'm just going to pick a line because it's easy to see visually and leave the automation mode on read. Okay, and all you do is just, just go in and draw your automation and it's, that's pretty straightforward and easy. And if you want to adjust any of those little points, select your smart tool or your grabber tool and just drag your cursor over it and you could adjust however you like, however you need to surgically move around your points. And if you don't like your automation data, you could highlight it and hit delete or you could highlight it, right click and uh, choose clear. Okay, so now the four uh, automation modes are well, off is off read just reads um your automation data now touch and what touch does is it writes the automation once the fader or the panner or whatever parameter you're moving is moved and as soon as you let it go it returns back to wherever your original starting point was now this is really great if you get good at it you can punch in automation on the fly so this is how when whenever you select um, your automation mode it shows up red so it's showing you that it's recording automation data all you have to do is hit spacebar grab whatever you're using the pan or the fader or whatever and just write your automation data and notice how every time I stopped using the panner it returned back to my original spot Okay, and another mode is latch, and what latch does is it stays with the last point that you wrote your automation data with, and this is what that looks like. So as you can see, my last point was here on my first movement, and then it just continued until I picked it up again and then it returned back over here okay and the last one is right and right is sort of the same as latch where it uh, stays at the last point that you left it and and as you can see stayed with the last point continued until I picked it up again Okay, now all automation data can be overwritten if you need to. Just grab whatever parameter you're using and when you reach the point where you want to overwrite that data, just grab the fader or the panner and just do it real quick. Now one real, one cool thing that you can do is you can create a master fader, shift command N for new track, stereo, master fader, create. And what you can do is you can write a fade. So I'm going to use the pencil just because it's when you have your dots, it's a little bit more precise. So I want to fade out from here to here and grab your smart tool and grab your tool again and just pull your cursor over and drag it. And there you have a... And there's your fade. <clears throat> now, if you want to automate effects, all you have to do is go to your inserts. I'm going to use an EQ for this. So where it says auto, that's your automation. Now you can auto save it where it doesn't overwrite or rewrite any automation data. And so what you do if you want to automate any parameters, you click here. And all you have to do is double click on anything and it'll show up in the drop down menu. So I'm just going to use the low band gain. And this you can put as many 
parameters I, as you'd like to automate in this in over here okay so I'm going to automate the low band gain and when you pull down your drop down menu for the automation your plugin shows up right here and then you just select it so that's and I'm going to use uh, touch okay so and this is what that looks like Okay, and I wrote the gain automation data. This is really helpful if you need to just automate any quick little things, or you want to automate uh, a bass drop or something, or just edit out all, uh, automate out all the music, and just have the vocal a cappella. There's many, many things you could do with automation. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at Winksound.com.